all of the factors why I love tractors. Written by Davina Bell, illustrated by Jenny Lovely. I'm off on an outing with my mom today, and we're not just going to the park to play. Where are we going? Can you guess? Take a look. I'll give you a hint, and the hint is this book. Down past the school and the pool and the shop, I run through the door with a skip and a hop. It's the library! Hello there, Frankie McGee, Miss Squid the librarian says to me. Oh no, says my mom with a very big groan when I show her the book that I want to take home. There are more than a million good books here to try. Why is yours always about tractors, Frank? Why? Oh, thank you for asking, I say with great glee. I'd love to explain why they're special to me and tell you the many glorious factors that go into the love that I have for all tractors. First, the big strong treads on wheels that can travel through huge muddy fields or across pits of gravel. A rumbling engine, a pipe that spits smoke, a rake if you're raking, a hoe that can poke. A seat for the farmer, a wheel that she steers, a grumbling noise as she changes gears, levers and buttons and pedals to press. Trucks have those too, my mom loudly protests. But mom, I say, trucks cannot do the things that a tractor can. Let me tell you. A tractor has different parts that attach. A shovel for digging a vegetable patch. A plow to turn earth so it's ready for seeds. A sharp blade to chop all those troublesome weeds. Please stop, says my mom. I've heard quite enough, but I'm only beginning. They do even more stuff. You used to like trains, my mother complains, but then I got bigger and so did my brain and I realized trains only chug down a track. How boring, I'm snoring just thinking of that. Police cars have sirens, gliders have wings and forklifts have forks if you're into those things. But none of those is a good enough factor to challenge my love for a shiny red tractor. Like an old Massey Ferguson, what a machine. Or if red's not around, well, I guess I'll take green. That's the color of tractors made by John Deere. I know, says my mom. I've been hearing all year. What about fire trucks with ladders and hoses? Or planes with their wide wings and cute little noses? Cranes are so tall, they can help build a wall. They can lift things up high, they deliver and haul. A cement mixer? All it does is go around. A steamroller? It just sort of squashes the ground. What's wrong with tractors? I don't understand. Oh, Frank, I'm sorry, but I just can't stand any more books about them. Will these do instead? Cable cars, submarines, taxis, a sled? This one has rockets flying through space. This one has cars driving fast in a race. No thanks, I say in my most polite voice, but I think you'll be very pleased with my choice. I'll lend it to you if you're interested too. There's a lot you could learn about what tractors do. Frankie, mom hollers. Hush, says Miss Squid. Did you find something, Frank? Thank you, yes I did. For many various glorious factors, I want this book and it's all about tractors. What a surprise, I would never have guessed, said Miss Squid with a wink. Well, you know yourself best. When you want something different, just come and find me. A kid who likes books is a nice thing to see. Right, Mom? I say as we check my book out. I like books. That's what matters, not what they're about. And don't worry, I add. I know this one by heart. I can read it to you. When can we start? <laughs>